Juliana Miller, in her pre-fight interview, had spoken to me about how jiu-jitsu just completely changed the trajectory of her life. She said the friends that she grew up with and hung out with before the sport of jiu-jitsu are doing things and are in jobs that she certainly wouldn't want to be in. Hmm. It, it's always amazing when you hear people's path and like how jiu-jitsu has been able to change things for them. Absolutely. Lindsay Williams, also no slouch. She's got 11 MMA bouts, six nose an amateur uh, from the academy. Uh, over 11 years in the Army, graduated Army combatants training, and she graduated the master's program at Fort Benning. Nice job by Juliana, kind of switching that takedown attempt by Lindsay into some judo, but Lindsay identifies and transitions straight to mount. Beautiful. Richie Martinez is the instructor for Juliana Miller. She's aggressive and versatile from both top and bottom. It, it would be interesting to see how that aggressive nature translates to the gi, just because things can get slowed down so much, and that collar really changes the game. I try to breach the topic of flat earth with <laughs> Juliana Miller, and I was shut down. Oh. Like pressed flat? So I, shut down, no, shut down in regards to there's certain subjects she doesn't like to talk about, which I agree with. That's fair. There's some subjects that shouldn't be talked about. That's right. <laughs> Lindsay's doing a good job. She's working that collar control, but at the same time, Juliana said really patient. She was able to get that leg out. That was part of the key to her win over being mosquito, too, is being able to really stay patient like in those mount positions and bad positions in general. Lindsay with a good base, not, not fully losing that topside control there and passing right back into mount. At this point, Lindsay is up, I think, 10-0. So it's her game to control, but it is definitely not over. No, no, for sure. Lindsay going for a headlock control. Can you think she's going to try for She's going for another Ezekiel choke. I think she was going for it before. She's going to try and grab her own sleeve and loop her hand on the inside to finish that choke. Going across, let's see if she'll transition to back. As Juliana tries to sit out too much. using that form to try and pry that shin up and expose that choke again. Go for a cross collar. Nice job sitting out. She's exposed her leg and she started to sit out like that. Lindsay grabbing the cross collar to try and avoid that sweep off that leg. Drops to her butt. Juliana doing a great job of staying patient in bad position. I have 10 second marker. Yeah. No heel hook available, so I think instincts might have betrayed her a little bit. Well, I think uh, going into the second round, Lizzie Williams is going to have to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. I think she'll be a little bit. Yeah, Lizzie Williams will probably go for the end of the I'd still like to see Lizzie make a little bit of an adjustment there, but when Juliana was coming to her side, she was exposing her back a little bit, and her mouth defense seems very slow. To be transitioning to a knee pillow to see if she can get back to control. Julia obviously is able to weave her leg in to get that leg or weave to get that leg control, which can end a match. Well, it's used up so much by points. I think I think Juliana's going to have to take a, take a risk or two. I absolutely, yeah. Like 10-0, the takedown amount, getting back to mount. It's a big gap. That doesn't mean anything with the submission. No, for sure. And yeah, if you look at Lindsay, I mean, she is cool as a cucumber. She's not breathing hard. She's just. Better Brunson, and she is just calm as can be. It'll be interesting to see how Juliana adjusts this round. Yeah, Juliana is going to be a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes it's a little bit tough when you find yourself in mount positions where much more than survive. So we'll see, like starting back from neutral, where we go. Lindsay just driving right in immediately. Is the out. Juliana jumps, pivoting as she jumps, going for the arm bar. Lindsay's got to clear her head and stack and pass that leg to avoid that torque. <coughs> Juliana's 
Juliana's transitioning. She's got her circled up. Lindsay turns out of it. Mm -hmm. That was an excellent setup by Juliana. Really quickly angling out off that takedown attempt. Lindsay did a great job countering. It was a very dangerous situation. Yeah, I've actually seen, I think I've called a few of uh, Juliana's fights as well. Oh, oh Lindsay. Lindsay Williams fights. I apologize. Lindsay flattens it up, uh, flattens Juliana out. That was excellent by both competitors on that one. Juliana was very close. That transition between the arm bar and then circling up, the fact that Lindsay was able to turn out of it was very fortunate. Lindsay's staying tight now, maybe a little bit more conservative. Juliana tries to sit up and Lindsay passes. Beautiful job. Lindsay's got to clear those legs though so she doesn't end up in a bad position as Juliana turns out and starts to isolate that arm. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! It, it was, as Juliana turned her hips over and Lindsay tried to escape around, she caught the Camaro, it looked like, on the back. Wow, that was incredible. Juliana Miller, I mean, way down on points in time running out, comes up with a submission. That's Incredibly that's impressive. impressive. And, and I'll tell you what, Lindsay Williams, what a performance on her end. Yeah, Juliana made some amazing adjustments that round for sure. Incredibly impressive performance by both people. Yeah, I can't.